In today's video, I'll be playing every Gorilla Tag horror knockoffs. This is actually a part 2 of the first video that I made a week ago, and yes, I'm going to say the name of each game. With that being said, here's today's video. This game is actually a really good game, and this game has a ton of stuff that you can do, like a shop, special maps, a ice map, and even more maps. But since I'm going to be playing every Gorilla Tag horror knockoff, then that means I'm basically just going to try out the horror game mode, which is under this table. And this game has not just one horror game mode, it actually has two. So if you go down here, there's like stage one, stage two, you know, you gotta complete just like in Capuchin. And here they got next spots. But I'm going to start off by going down here. Level one, maze. I only survived for a couple of seconds then. That was close. Bro, 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 bro. Wait, is that the... That's gotta be stage two. That's gotta be the door to stage two. It is. Level two. Look behind you. I can't see anything. I did not expect that to happen. Bro, he's so big. Bro, he's so fast. I can't. Oh, did I make it? No. And now, instead of going down there, I'm going to go down there to the next spots. Oh, he caught me. Okay, I'm gonna try it out one more time. Oh no, I should never have walked towards them. I'm gonna get a little tougher. Oh, that looks terrifying. So this is like a maze, I think. Let me try to get upstairs. What is this? What? What is going on? This. No. I didn't know that they could get on top of the table. And this game is really good in my opinion. There's a ton of stuff that you can do here. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to make an entire video about this game where I just explore everything and, you know, just check everything out. Anyways, let's head over to the next game. Did... Bro, that scared me. Oh, I did not expect that to happen. I'm just going to go inside of these squids and uh, take a look. Because I know that most of you guys that are watching this video haven't seen the video that I uploaded a couple of days ago. But basically you're a cat and you go inside of these squids just trying to... Uh... Basically you're... I swear I just saw him. Yeah there he is. Oh and he's coming, he's coming. <laughs> No, no, no. As you saw, he caught me there. But basically, you can play this game with your friends, and you're a cat. I think he's yeah, he's coming. He can't catch you when you're inside here, though. And you probably see that sign there where it says shop. I'm going to go to the shop and show you guys what it looks like. I'm gonna just hope that he doesn't come like that. And now I'm inside of the shop. And as you might see on this sign, or no, on the screen, it says yeah, your amount of doubloons, which is like shiny rocks in Google Tag. But under there, it says everything is free for now. So you can grab all of these cosmetics, like a knife, a doubloon coin, 
You can even get this uh, free bread costume. A propeller hat, top hat, a um, cardboard sword, and last but not least, a cardboard shield. But now I think it's time to go around, take a look for the monster and what I can find inside of the vents. I did not know that he would come from behind. And here is the last game on the list. But sadly the creator of the game said that he wanted to not did the game anymore, so that's kinda sad. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Something that's really cool about this game is that everybody get this free grapple gun. You just press the trigger button on your controller and you got a, a new grapple. Just look how realistic the water looks like. But when you're underwater, it doesn't look realistic at all. I played this game before, but that was a long time ago. When I did play, this thing right here wasn't there at all. What? If I'm not completely wrong, then that's supposed to scare people. You know, when you go inside of here, it's just a jump scare. Even though it didn't scare me that much, maybe a bit, but it isn't that scary. Now in the other room, is there just empty with two boxes. And in the boxes, you can find these goofy uh, bananas. But there's something special about these bananas. And that is, when you throw them, <coughs> that happens. I look so messed up. Anyways, here's when it starts. Bring a flashlight. And it looks like you gotta do the this parkour. And you're probably supposed to stay up on this. I don't know what happens if you fall down. But it doesn't look that funny to be down there. There's also something red down there. It could be a monster, it could just be a torch. Who knows? But yeah, let me just complete this parkour and to see what happens 2000 years later wait there's nothing else here like, i think i have completed the parkour and it only took me about a minute maybe one and a half and there's literally nothing you can do from here on except to jump down like i'm going to do so i'ma just jump down and see what's down there wait I think, yeah, that's supposed to be a monster. He's coming towards me. Isn't that scary? Even though that's kind of terrifying to look at. I'm gonna try to juke him. Okay, you guys gotta see this. No. Why did he kiss me like that? And yes, this is the last game on the list. And if you got any good uh, road attack or knockoffs that I haven't tried out yet, then please let me know in the comments. Anyways, thank you so much for watching until the end, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.